Hello everyone and welcome to Enindo Way of the Ninja. Now, I said in the last video that the Fire Blade is one of the best swords in the game. And it is. And admittedly, 7500 gold is a lot. You'd have to do a lot of grinding to get there, or do what I did, and play bingo. The only place you can't go is down here. You can't get through this barrier. Well, you can. If you win at the rich bingo parlor, and you get the eel extract, it makes you dizzy, and you can somehow wander through some of these barriers. But trust me, you don't want to go down there yet. Once you go, that gives you access to the other part of Japan. And when you get access to the other part of Japan, that's when shit starts to happen. That's when you start encountering people left and right. These arm bandits are completely worth worthless. But I'll take them over the enemies you fight later on in the game which are ridiculous. What do I mean by ridiculous? In the later half of the game, you'll encounter enemies on the world map like every 20 steps. And they are powerful. Not like these worthless pieces of shit. The enemies you fight later in the game are strong. That's why... God, I hope I didn't trigger an event flag that I don't know about by going there. That would suck. I might have just done that. That's probably why you don't go to Echizen right away. Echizen, however the fuck you pronounce it. God, I'm pushing it. All that for 20 experience points. Not fucking worth it. Yeah, I must have triggered an event flag. I'm fleeing this one. Yep. That's what you get. That's what you get for trying to break the sequence. But hey, I've still got a badass weapon. And if this rate continues, you may just see me use an elixir and show you what injuries look like. It looks like a hand icon with like a broken thing in it. Any people? No people? No people. Okay. Nothing else. Wait, I didn't check the tower. Yes, thank you. No people. Didn't think so. Now then. Mount Osore. Osore, whatever. Mutsu gets conquered right away. Kiai gets count, 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 conquered bleh, right away. Rakuzen, I believe, yeah, that gets conquered right away. Oh, poor Suzuki Sadayu, you always get conquered within two months. Is Bungo... Yep, Bung there goes Bungo. Time to go up north. Robber. Waste of time. Looks like I'm fighting you! Yep. I get seven experience points for that. Ridiculous. Anyway. Check here. And he, he's a swordsman. 
They're more powerful than me, but they don't. Warriors don't have energy. They don't use magic. That kind of. I don't like. Some people can use sor swordsman, char samurai, ronin. If those people, those three, effectively. Oh, this guy. Let me see. Okay, so he's not here to just try to get us to recruit him. Normally he does that. Anyway, I'm not going to stay here and waste time. Wait a minute. I'm level 12. I have an idea. Do either of us have... Okay, do they sell a Tengu? I doubt he has any skills. Okay, he has Cure 1, which is not useful for what I want to do. Please, they have a Tengu in good. I'm going to buy two of them. I'm going to give both of them to a Maji Koji. There's only one way to recruit Hattori Hanzo, and that's to beat him in battle. He almost always is at Mikawa Castle. Please let him. Wait, why am I ask? Why am I leaving it up to chance? I, I can go to the seer. <sighs> anyway, wait, back up. Wow, I would have gone all the way to Mikawa and wasted all my fucking time. Nice. Um. Instead, I'm just going to go up north to Mount Osuri, where I was at. I was heading at, anyway. Heading to, instead of saying heading at, whatever. I'm going to be attacked. Uh, no. Sorry. I want Hanzo. He's more useful than you. Probably at the end. Like I said, he's always higher than you. Yeah, that's a response that we can come to expect. I'm going to save right here in case I fight him and I either lose or I kill him. I do not want to kill him. There's a possibility that every time you defeat someone in combat, you can kill them. I don't want this to happen to Hanzo. That would be a just that would be a ginormous waste of it. Aha! Please don't let him kill me, and please don't let me kill him. Oh shit! Good. Okay. He got a critical hit. That's not usually that does not usually happen. What? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Wait a minute. I'm going to go back and do that again. He's two level, he's three levels above me. That that's amazing. Hatori Hanzo fled. That is fucking amazing. Wow! <laughs> Fuck, man. That 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 was um that was uh, I I I I cannot I have to say I was not expecting that. That was fucking funny. Oh my god, that was great. That was fucking hilarious. I have never had that happen, and I've been playing this game for years. I'm not worried about him repairing himself, because as a healing magic spell, repair sucks. He's gone. Please don't let him die. Please don't let him die. Oh, thank you, God. Yes! Hanzo! Fuck yeah! Okay. Now, to celebrate this momentous occasion, we will, sa we will lodge. We will save. And I don't have to worry about Kuko. That's 
that, that still fucking floored me. Hanzo fled from battle. Wow. That's amazing. I'm putting Amaji Cook. What the fuck did I just do? I got that completely bass backwards. That, that, thank you. Amaji Koji, back. Hanzo, front row. There we go. Yes, thank you. Nice. Okay. I feel so much better now that I have Hanzo on my side. Also, if I remember correctly, he has a very useful skill. Flight. Flight is awesome. It's like having an infinite number of Tengu wings. Now, this dungeon is a bitch. And I will show you why. There's a lot of stuff to get in this dungeon. So I probably won't be able to show you the whole thing in this video. And I fucking hate this guy. Sertron is a bastard. He is a bastard because he uses on you blinding light. Now, it only lasts for one battle, but blinding is a status in which you can't fucking hit your enemy. Well, you can, but it's not very likely to occur. I fucking hate the any monster that uses this. It is cheap as fuck. It is a cheap as fuck way to artificially increase the difficulty of a battle. And the only thing some of these monsters have going for them is the fact that they can do this. They have no other fucking special traits. This is why I like Hanzo. He's hitting every time. hes I don't think he's missed once this battle. Now that he's on my team, I determine whether he flees from battle or not instead of him. Supposed to follow the good path to what you seek. There are some useful I Satori. Oh yeah, I forgot a Monty Koji is one of the fastest. I think the most powerful enemy in this dungeon is Ogre, and Ogre is really fucking strong. He can do like fifth, like 40 damage in a hit if you aren't lucky. Don't go up there unless you're looking for treasure. I'm looking for treasure and for the item of the dungeon. So here we get a Scarab. So we equip the Scarab. Let's see what Uji Koji has. He doesn't have a charm. So I can give him the amulet, and it will help. Now, you wouldn't think that two, that like, what was it, four, four, or two, four? I'll find out in a moment. You wouldn't think that the defend and the resist going up by a simple two points wouldn't be the difference between life and death. But you haven't played this game. Yes, we're encountering Ogre. I like enemies that are off balance. Off balance means that we get the first hit. And I'm gonna have you sit there and just fucking just fucking heal us if need be. Sorry, Hanzo, I'm going for Sertron first because he can blind everyone. And I'm not going to risk being blinded in a battle with a fucking ogre. Yes! Critical hit!
Oh, fucking shit balls. Okay. Change of plan. Oh, you cock-sucking pile of shit. Okay, new plan. Hope that Hanzo doesn't fucking die. And heal me. To all of you who say that save stating is cheating, I absolutely guarantee you, if Hanzo dies, I am resetting this fucking save state and going all the way back to the beginning of this dungeon. No matter what the fuck you just saw. Don't care. I don't care. Okay, good. He's not dead. That is incredibly lucky. I told you! It's Chekhov's gun. I say it, it's gonna happen. That's what the symbol for injured looks like. It looks like a hand with a cut through it. Please tell me I have an elixir. Please, dear God, fuck you. Thank you, God, I have an elixir. You could spend 20 at the... Medic to be healed, or you can simply use an elixir, which is 16 gold. Either way, you're saving money. You know what? I have repair, and I doubt I'm going to use it because repair sucks ass. But I'm going to use it to heal him. In groups. One more medicine. This is why I hate enemies that can blind you. It's pointless. It does nothing except artificially increase the challenge. And I hate slugs. I hate every type of monster, really, but slugs, they're just annoying. Because there's three types of them. There's giant slugs, there's like these different slugs in the game that are recolors of this sprite, but they're venomous. This is why it pays to sequence break and have the best sword in the game, one of the best swords in the game, right away. Because notice that Hanzo, despite being much stronger than me, is not doing as much damage as I'm doing. Because I have a pre I probably have a better sword than me. And these fuckers again. Yeah, fuck you. That was very lucky. Okay, no more blinding. He has an even shittier weapon than I thought he had. I thought he had a Masa Moon at least. Steel Blade is okay early in the game. Kind of. It does like 32, has a 32 rating. But I thought he had a Masa Moon. I guess he's just not at that level. At various levels in the game, whatever level you're at, the game puts other people that you could recruit at all the other people in the game that are not monsters, but people that are recruitable are at your same level. And depending on what level you're at also also determines what level their weapons are at. And I dropped the controller, sorry about that. This game is much nicer than Final Fantasy. Every time you level up, your health and energy are completely restored to the new level. I wish Final Fantasy did that. I fucking hate Sertra. These fuckers are annoying. They have a one trick and they fucking go for it like mad. 
It is really fucking irritating. How did you miss? Goodbye. Lessening the risk of being blinded. Although it begs the question, how is blinding temporary? This game does, however, make up for its nicety with the health thing by screwing you over. In one way. You have to go through every dungeon, collect the item, bring it back to the Elder, and he gives you magic. Every other character in the game learns magic naturally by leveling up the way you would in, say, Final Fantasy. So it's a trade-off. Healed, healed and energy restored with every level up, but you have to learn magic by going on a fetch quest. And I fucking hate these guys because they... These enemies have magic equivalent to the wizard, sorcerer, and mystic class. So you want to terminate them as soon as possible. And they have items. Did I mention they have items? No, I didn't. Enemies sometimes can use items. I played Final Fantasy V and I don't think I ever saw an enemy use an item. In fact, I don't know if I've ever played an RPG in which an enemy has used an item. It's probably me just forgetting some, but still... You don't see enemies use items very often. And these bastards again. You didn't even let me kill you and take your experience points, you stupid motherfucker. First time you go through this dungeon, you wanna get the you wanna get the items that will give you ma the item that will give you magic. So the first time, take the good path. You avoid all the pitfalls and traps. And you can always come back in and get more shit. The path of Geki and the path of Shura will lead you to treasure, but to get here, they will take you on a path of bullshit. Now some of these items sound really interesting, like Magic Torch. I would love to know what use that has, except unfortunately you can never use any of these items in, in battle, or ever. So now that we've got it, also people's conversation points at dungeons change after you beat a dungeon by getting an item. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, whatever. Thank you. Somewhat useless. Oh, now we have our sig first significant jump in difficulty. This game is, dates back to the 80s, where it looked even more primitive than this, by having a... It was on the MSX personal computer in Japan, which, if you can imagine, this looks like the PS5 compared to that version. So... I doubt they had much time to balance the game. Because let's face it, 
RPGs were not well known in the 80s. There were not many of them in the 80s. So here, we have a vastly updated from the original point of view game remake. So when we go to Oshima Island, we're going to stay here and level up a bit first. Why? Because this is not going to cut it. The Oshima Island dungeon is a dramatic increase in difficulty from the monsters here. You go from monsters like Ogre that can do 30 damage to monsters like, I shit you not, Flame Wheel or something like that. It's a skull surrounded by a wheel of fire that can do like 60 damage in one hit. Yeah. So we're going to take a break, and when we come back in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get some stuff in this dungeon.